It seems that Ja Ja Santiago's impressive skills and height have caught the attention of South Korean volleyball enthusiasts and teams. With her name being mentioned in discussions about the Kovo Asian quota, it wouldn't be surprising if she receives offers from Korean V-League clubs in the near future. However, some athletes are already making more than $120,000 per year because Japanese V-League teams pay between $120,000 and $180,000 for Asian quota players. If Ja Ja decides to pursue the option of naturalization in Japan, it could also open up opportunities for her to play for the Japanese national team. This would be a significant career move for the young athlete and could further boost her profile in the world of volleyball. It was also reported that Ja Ja was in transfer talks with another Japan V-League club besides the Saitama Agio Medics. In any case, I hope Ja Ja Santiago can continue to play in the Korean V-League. Therefore, it is crucial for the Korean V-League clubs to offer competitive salaries to attract top talents like Ja Ja Santiago and ensure the success of the Kovo Asian quota. Because Kim Young-kung and her fans all over the world will be eagerly anticipating a matchup between them.